At the end of the day, find yourself firm, level and legal ground to uncouple your trailer. If it's not firm and level, you can use chocks on the wheels or even a, a railway sleeper to help spread the weight. Put the trailer brake on and then wind down the legs, stowing the handle. Turn off the air taps if they're fitted, uncouple the air and electrical lines, being careful not to get dirt or water into the air couplings or the valves might fail. Take off the safety catch and pull the fifth wheel handle. Check the tyres and wheel nuts on the whole of the outfit for damage. And then pull slowly forward, making sure the weight of the trailer is supported by the legs. Check the trailer brake is still fully on and take off the number plate and put it in your cab. When you're driving a unit on its own, it can skid very easily, especially in the wet, so be careful. Establishing a routine applies to coupling up as well. Reverse just short of the trailer and then get out and check the trailer is high enough to back the unit underneath and that the trailer brake is still on. Reverse back until you hear a clicking sound from the fifth wheel handle. Tug forward a couple of times in a low gear to make sure it's coupled. Put the safety catch on and then connect the electrical and air line. On a three airline system, there's also a blue line, the auxiliary. If it's not being used, make sure it's connected back into the truck's location point to complete the air system. The yellow airline is the service line for the trailer brakes. The red line is the emergency line. Twist the coupling until you get a good fit. And then turn on the air taps if they're fitted. Wind the trailer legs up. And stow away the handle. Turn the trailer brake off and make sure you've got the right number plate fitted. Check all the lights for damage. All the tyres are your responsibility and it's essential to check the pressures, ideally with a gauge. Operators often have stickers on the wheel arches showing the recommended pressures and check for any cuts and bulges and that the tread pattern is legal. Replacing the valve cap keeps the valve clean and in good working order. Also check the wheel nuts to make sure none are loose or damaged. The final thing you should do before you leave the yard is to test your brakes. New trucks all have ABS anti-lock brakes fitted to make for easier braking and you need to know whether your unit and your trailer have ABS. Information lights show that the truck has ABS fitted but the trailer does not. The sequence of the lights varies depending on the make of truck you're driving.